Hello viewer, welcome to Artistry. I am your presenter, Taira Swanyoike. Today, I want us to learn a few concepts on joints. And before me, I have a, a range of items, ranging from chisels, mallet, I have the square, tenon saw, uh, and quite a number of others. But I want us to start off with this, which we call, uh, is known as the sharpening stone. The sharpening stone uh, is used to sharpen the edges of the chisels, as well as the, the blade of the plane, and every other sharp cutting edge in carpentry and joinery. So this uh, sharpening stone has two options. I can choose to use oil with it. Some people call it the oil stone. And I can choose to use water. So before me here, I have some water. And I have chosen to use water. Uh, water or oil is used to float the particles that come out during the sharpening process. So the sharpening process uh, will wear a little bit of this stone. And if not floated, the particles will clog the stone. And after a short while, it will not be able to perform its work. So it wears out as it sharpens. So the, the particles that wear out need to be floated so that we can have, have it effective on the blade, on the, on the blade which is being sharpened. So I've made a frame for it because normally I use it uh, near the sink where there is some flowing water. But for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use it right here so that we can see how it sharpens the blades because we need to use sharp blades in woodwork. For us to get an effective joint, we need to use sharp blades. So for now, I'll use this sharpening stone some water and I'll sharpen one of these chisels. As you can see the chisel has a sharp edge and the chisel originally is long when, when, uh, when, it's, uh, when you buy it for the first time. It's long so in the due process of sharpening it wears out gradually little by little until uh, at such a point like here now we consider it done and we go for a new chisel. So my chisel is still okay. I can sharpen it. So we have this bevel at the end of the chisel. That is where we sharpen for us to get a sharp edge. And after that, we are able to work effectively with it. So here we have the, 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 the bevel here. And for us to determine how much we put for the bevel, uh, we have to do some measurement because if we put it too, too, too acute, then the, 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 the edge here will be too brittle. It will just hit something during the working process, it will become dull. Again, if it is too steep this way, then it will not be, it will not be able to perform that which we expect it to, work, to perform during our work. So the bevel here is maintained at two to two and a half times of the thickness of the chisel. So that is how we determine the, the bevel. So you have to determine the thickness of this chisel first or whatever cutting edge uh, which we are using. Then we multiply two to two and a half. That is the range, two to two and a half times of this thickness. So for instance, my chisel here, the thickness, the thickness of my chisel here is four millimeters. Four millimeters is the thickness here at this point where I'm sharpening because you, you realize it will increase a bit as it comes towards the handle. So having four millimeters right here, I'll sharpen and this bevel should range between eight and 10 millimeters. So if I measure my bevel, right here right now it is 10 millimeters so 10 millimeters i'm safe i have a good working bevel so i'm going to maintain that during my sharpening process so we have different 
uh, ways again of sharpening. We may sometimes be required to use the bench grinder. And with the bench grinder, of course, it will form something circular, an arc or some, some kind of curve here. So that is different from when I'm using only the sharpening stone. So if I'm using the, the, the bench grinder, I'll sharpen it with the bench grinder, and then I'll come and hone it. Honing is just making it very sharp because the grinding part will be done by the grinder. I only hone it. H-O-N-I-N-G. Honing is uh, making it sharp. And this stone has two uh, types of gravel. So there is the, the coarse gravel, and there is a fine gravel as well. So during the, the grinding process, if I'm not using the grinder, then I'll use the, the, the coarse part first. I grade it. And again, there is a bev uh, an angle that we try to maintain as well. The angle should not go beyond 30 degrees. So you can determine 30 degrees on the, on the sharpening stone, 30 degrees, then you sharpen it at that angle and you hone it, turn the stone around and hone it. So we're going to do it practically so that you can have a sharp edge. And then from there, we move on now to the joint part of it. So I'll use water. Uh, I can even soak it a little bit in water because it was a bit dry. I'll soak it in water. I see bubbles coming out. So that means it will have enough of the water to start with. And then I'll continue uh, pouring water as I sharpen. So my, my stone is now wet. It has enough water in itself. So I'll start with the coarse side. The coarse side, I'll use it to grind my chisel a little bit. So I'll apply a bit of water. I'll apply a bit of water on the stone. And then I'll grind my chisel. I'll hold it well and grind using the whole surface of the stone. The whole surface of the stone. A little bit of water again. End to end. I'm also allowed to use it in a circular motion provided I use every part of this stone so that one part does not wear before the other parts. I can either take it round but use the whole part of the stone or I can use end to end. But this way, many people have the tendency of uh, making a curve at the center. So it's good to periodically observe and see which part is not so much used. You try to use it so that we can have a flat surface. I'll continue with my process of sharpening. I'll sharpen, and you realize as I sharpen, I'm testing something on the back side of the bevel. I'm testing something, and I can feel it. So there's something I'm testing. We call it the bar, B -U -R -R -R. So the bar is an indication of the chisel getting sharp. So once the bar is, uh, is, now, uh, is now coming out, I turn the stone on the honing side of it. Then I'll lay my chisel flat, flat, and then I'll move it. Just one, two, three, three times, and then a little bit of honing, and then one, two. A bit of honing and then one two then my chisel is fine it's sharp now once it's sharp it's sharp the chisel will rust if I don't take care of the edge so I can even use my dust coat to wipe it once it is now dry I'll use another uh, piece of sponge that I have here it has some oil on it so I'll use it to wipe, one, two. So I'll pull, if I push, I'll, I'll cut this, the sponge and I'll also be at a risk of cutting myself. So I'll pull, 
once two now the blade is well taken care of it is oiled and it is sharp now we can have a chance of using our, our sharp chisel which is very efficient for me so that makes our first part of maintenance of tools where we have sharpened the chisel so keep tuned